love my putty. My putty is the best. My putty tastes the nicest. It is the best. My putty. You, you sound like a minion. My putty. My putty is really nice. You just don't get it. Hi guys, every day for And I am that. Together. One of us likes tasty snacks, the other one likes. The Zimbabwean stuff is really nice. You just don't understand. I can't say anything. I'm drinking white wine tonight. My putty is really nice. Really nice. And when my friend went back to Zimbabwe and she asked me what I wanted when she came back, I said my putty. But you don't understand it. I even tried to get like the coloured, the, the sweet my putty for you and you still didn't understand. The sweet stuff is just going to be like rainbow drops in this country though. No, it's not. It's way better. It's not as much sugar. It's more natural. Let us know if you've eaten some Zimbabwean snacks in your time and which were your favourites. Anyway, the warning, uh, Hell You Call a Dream. We did the single version of it, the official music video. Yes. There's a live version now. Live from Vivo Studios. I'm so sorry to you. It's late. It's been a long day. As we know, bands like The Warning, even Nightwish, Love Bites, people like that, you get the live versions Always so much more energy. Oh, yeah. Like the studio versions are great, but the live ones are always where I these just, bands excel, I think. You can see the joy in their faces, because obviously when they're filming for the videos, it's over and over again because it's different angles, different shots, different positions, different lighting, and they're like, oh, just do that again. Oh, just do that again. So it must get very frustrating, like, playing that bit over and over again, whereas when they're on stage, they're in the moment, their crowd is, is cheering, they can feel the excitement, the vibrations on the stage. It must be so exhilarating. Did you, like. did you say different shots? I said shots. Someone please timestamp that. It well sounded like shots to me. I said different shots. I'm childish tonight. I can't help it. I just feel like... Annoying. He says he's childish, but then he got creeped out when I was being childish and kissing him. And <laughs> Right then, the warning... Hell You Call a Dream, live from Vivo Studios. And Ash will tell you more about shots after it if you stick around. <laughs> you ready? You are about the shots, not it. me. instruments this time no it's a chunky bass tone it is, though, isn't it? it you can proper hear it going for it along the neck it's absolutely beautiful i right i've asked this question loads no one's ever answered it because apparently the warnings guitar tech doesn't watch this no, someone did answer what was the question that um she puts a, a layer over it even live yeah someone said she did because i i worked with a guitarist years ago who he went straight into a pedal that split his signal in two. Then one of them pitched it down to bass, so like down an octave. I'm not saying she does that. And then he had guitar, so they didn't have a bassist in the band. It was just him riffing, and it sounded really cool and chunky. But I've always thought hers somehow splits mm -hmm. into two separate tones, but somehow like slightly out of phase with each other, just slightly offset. Someone definitely said just, something in the comments and agreed with you, but I can't remember exactly what it you It just said. beefs it up. Like for that to be one guitar sounds so chunky, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah.
Nice. It's not the live I was thinking of, but it was really good. It's performed live, but yeah. in the studio. Is is her bass a five or a six string? I think it was a four. It didn't look like a four. No, it doesn't look like a four. It's no, it's five. Five. It's five, yeah, just three tuning keys at the top, yeah. two at the bottom. Something about the warning is the production is always just spot on. It's so beautiful. Like even the um, the sort of lead vocal, mm. it's going through some sort of preamp that's maybe just cranked up a bit too, you know, just to distort it that little yeah. bit. When she really goes for it, you get that cool. I, I like it. I think, I think it's amazing. Yeah. They're such a great band. They're so much fun. Whoever such a great song. Whoever produces them and is responsible for the overall sound yeah. knows what they're doing. Yeah. It's just spot on. Not one thing I'd change, personally. No, it's absolutely genius. I loved it. I absolutely love the band. They're so much fun. And this version of it, as much as I love the video, I always prefer them raw. The the live performances are always better, whether yeah. there's a crowd or not, whether it's this sort of studio live or live in front of a crowd. Yeah. It, it's just always... Same with most bands, to be fair. It's, just it's so a much, sign of a good yeah, band. it is. Anyone can play well in a studio. Yeah, and then you see them live. And I've unfortunately had that experience where I, I really enjoyed a band that will, will not be named. Went Name to see them live. And Are they I big? Was Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs. I've and, heard that though as well. And I saw them live and I literally stayed for about two songs before I ended up walking out. I was so disappointed. They're not what I hoped. I've seen some bands that are very big play badly before. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. And then you see the warning that I just... They've worked. They've worked since they're about eight years old. I this. know. And it shows. It does. The yeah. love of it. Nice. Right there. Hope you guys enjoyed that too. Make sure you like and subscribe as always. And we will see you again very soon. Bye guys.